Hello ladies and gentlemen, Legend Commentary is here and I'm bringing you a black screen today because I'm going to show you how to make YouTube videos. Now this is by no means the only way, in fact this is simply the way that I have done things uh, for about the past month. I change what I do a lot and I like to make an update video as many of you who have been with me for a while know, kind of detailing how I make my videos. So we're going to walk through what I do to bring you all the content that you see pretty much daily. Uh, the first step is to find a recorder. Now as you can see up in the top of my screen, uh, this is Bandicam. Let me pull it up here. Uh, Bandicam is probably the best recorder I have found thus far. Um, you can get it at uh, Bandicam.com. So you go here, you go to download, and then you can buy it uh, if you want the full version. The free downloaded version will have a watermark on it, so not a huge deal. But if you're posting on YouTube, you definitely do not want to have that watermark on it. Um, I'll save that for later, but yeah, Bandicam.com is where you can get this, and you'll find all these links down in the description. Uh, but I like Bandicam. You're going to want to set up your output folder first. I know this is kind of basics, but I'm going to go over everything, because you'd be surprised what people ask me in personal messages. It gets very, very basic, so I'm just going to cover my bases on this one, and we're going to make this the official reference video. Uh, so you're going to set your uh, output folder. Right now, mine is uh, in my videos folder. So let's open that up here. And as you can see, I got my videos, and this is the one that we're working on right now. It's uh, increasing in size as I go back to it, and um, well, after I'm done, we will put that into Cyberlink, and we'll edit it, but that, we're not there yet, we're not there. Uh, right now, all we have is Bandicam, and we've set our output folder. So when we press record, which is up here for me, uh, stop and pause right there, of course, but um, when we press record, it's gonna start recording to that videos folder. As far as video goes, these are the best settings I've found for video gaming, uh, for PC games anyways. Uh, the video is in MPEG-1, VBR, and you go full full size, 29.97 FPS, 80Q, and 480kHz stereo for the audio. Uh, you can custom set your key to record or to stop recording, and uh, then you're going to want to click on your advanced settings here, and change it so that Windows 7 sound is in this first slot, and so that uh, your microphone is here in the second slot and then put on two sound mixing. Uh, you can also have a kind of a push to talk button which is really cool. Um, I have not used it yet but I think I'll probably be using it in some live comms and you can also add your own custom logo uh, anywhere on the video that you want to uh, with opacity and everything like that. Uh, the same thing goes for screenshots you're just gonna set your hotkey and set what kind of picture you want it to be. I'll probably actually change that to PNG. Um, okay so Bandicam is done. You have your recorder. We're going to minimize that. Actually, we'll just set it up here for now, and I'm going to go grab Minecraft. Well, there's Minecraft. Uh, we're just on the main menu, and if I had this set to the target being a direct X slash OpenGL window, then it would have little green numbers up here, and they would be telling me what the FPS was right now. It'll probably be up in like 250 or something like that, because the Minecraft home screen doesn't take very much. Uh, but anyways, the numbers up there are going to be green. When you press this hotkey it'll turn red and that means you're recording uh, and if you have your oops not that if you have your secondary sound device as a microphone then you should be seeing these once you start recording this shows my voice level going up and down it, it shows me that I'm actually recording so those numbers will turn red that means you'll have some footage going and capturing and then once you're done you'll press end again or whatever key you have here and that will stop the recording that'll then get placed into this file that you have as your output file so let's say that I just recorded this. Um, I did not actually, but uh, let's say I recorded it. I'm done playing. I, I close out of that. I've pressed stop recording, and now it is in our videos folder. So so the, the document that we are trying to edit is somewhere in here. Um, now you can't just go straight from this folder and edit it. You have to have a program for that. And the program that I use is Cyberlink Power Director. Uh, it's not the greatest. I, I will not give it huge props because it does kind of uh, mess up the videos sometimes but once you get a codec that works and some render settings that work well for 1080p it's really very easy to use so I would highly recommend it for a beginner if you're more advanced I would recommend going somewhere along the lines of Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is pretty good uh, it does mess up sometimes as well but I like Cyberlink because I don't do a whole lot I pretty much speed up stuff, slow down stuff, put in sound and put in video and that's it. Um, 
So if that's all you're really going to be doing for gameplays, which is the vast majority of it, I would really recommend CyberLink uh, PowerDirector. So you can go to CyberLink.com, Products, and then you're going to go to uh, Edit and Convert Power Director, And that'll take you to this page. You can add it to your cart. Uh, you can get a free trial, which pretty much does everything. So if you just want to try it out and see how you like it, go ahead and do that. Uh, but anyways, so we have CyberLink Power Director. Let's say that we have our editing program. Here it is. Um, we're under edit right now. We've already captured. We're going to edit and we're going to drag down what, guys, what one do you guys want? Uh, let's do some, let's do lake. Okay, so we have a very long, long, some long footage of a lake here. We'll span that for about 40 seconds. Okay, so our lake is nice and beautiful. We can play it in a preview here. It's going to go a little bit uh, slowly because, well, actually it's doing pretty well. Um, so we're just going to go through the footage. It's scrubbing through there. Uh, we're happy with it, so we're going to go to produce. Now here is the uh, the big difference in what a lot of guides online say and what I have found works. Uh, go to MPEG4, just the best one I found. Again, you can choose your own, but this is just what works for me. Uh, going to go to a custom, and we're going to make our own. So let's edit this one. Edit YouTube. Um, so let's see, 1080p YouTube videos is what I'll make the properties on that. Uh, so as you can see, the video codec is MPEG-4, like it says right there. Video settings. This is for 1080p. Okay. This is for 720p. So if you want 720p, if you don't want to have as big of files, if you don't want to have as long of an upload time, go with 1280 by 720 If you're okay with the longer upload time and the higher res videos, go with 1920 by 1080 It's completely up to personal preference there. Then you want to go for 29.97 because that's what you captured it as in Fraps. If you'll remember here, this is not Fraps, in Bandicam. Uh, I have 29.97 FPS, and you always want to match that up with whatever you're using here. Uh, frame type progressive, profile type main profile, entropy coding, the average bit rate, set that to 15,000. And then of course set this all the way to high quality uh, and use deblocking. Under audio, AAC, stereo, and the longest, the farthest one down the list, 384, will give you the highest compression rate. Okay, so we're going to say OK there. It'll give us our custom profile here, and uh, you're going to go ahead and start it. So here it is, it's going into the document Cyberlink Power Director 10, and it's being saved as produce something, because we're producing something. Uh, so we'll wait for this to finish here. It'll probably take about, what does it say, 20 seconds. Uh, and then we're going to go to our Cyberlink folder. So let me go ahead and pull that up. We'll go to Documents, Cyberlink, PowerDirector, 10, and where is it at? It looks like it's going to be this Produce 1 here. Um, almost done. And then it should say Processing Complete, Producing Movie Complete. There we go. So now we have our movie completed. It is completely edited. We can close out of Cyberlink PowerDirector. And of course you'll want to save it as your project so you can come back to it later if you messed up on the rendering. Um, so now we're going to open Produce 1. And we'll just kind of make sure it's working. There's our lake. Okay, you just want to always test it. And once you have the actual footage here, what you're going to want to do is open FreeMake Video Converter. That can be found on the website. See, I did not actually have this one up here. We can find it. There it is. Freemake.com slash free underscore video underscore converter backslash. Um, so yeah, you can use that for your video conversions. Just click download and it'll guide you through it. Uh, but what it looks like is right here. Freemake video converter. So we're going to drag our produce one into there. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to make the file size much, much smaller. And for right now, we'll just minimize that. And we don't need Bandicam anymore because we've already recorded our footage. Bam and we're going to convert it back to mp4. You want to keep it in the same format, it just kind of leaves less room for error, and then we'll convert it. So off it goes here, converting at the speed of light, it should be done fairly soon, and then I will show you the difference between the rendered file and the file that it came out with. And it may not be a huge difference at this low of a file size, but at a high file size I guarantee you it makes a huge difference. I can usually cut the file size in half, uh, if not, then it's a little bit more, and uh, you know it, it just kind of it kind of varies with the length as to how much you get off, of course, because you're going to have bigger file sizes, uh, how many video tracks you have, all that kind of stuff. 
is just going to make it vary in length. Okay, so it's going to say conversion completed. We're done. We're going to show it in the folder. Okay, so here are all my Minecraft episodes all the way up to 13, uh, and produce is 10 megs. Okay, produce one is 10 megs. So let's go back to uh, my videos. Here's produce one is 20 megs. So we have a difference here of about half, like I had said. You're getting rid of 10.4 megs, which is a huge difference because if you had a 2 gig file, you'd only have a 1 gig file. Uh, and I really, really like FreeMake Video Converter for this. Okay, so we're going to close out a video, FreeMake Video Converter here. And then we are going to need to upload our video. We have produce one here. Let me just drag that out here. We've got produce one, right? It is on our desktop. We are ready to go. We want to upload to YouTube. Um, but first, we need to make a thumbnail. Now, if you don't have partner, don't pay attention to this part. You don't have the ability to upload custom thumbnails. But if you've gotten the ability from YouTube, definitely take advantage of it. Uh, you're going to want to go into a 1280 by 720 uh, template in Photoshop. Uh, there are tons of free ones. Paint.net is a good one. Uh, but I like using Photoshop, which you can find on the Adobe website, adobe.com. Go to products and then find uh, Photoshop CS5. Okay. Um, anyways, so you're going to want to go to a 1280 by 720 layout. And then what I do is I just drag in a background picture of whatever I want uh, to kind of demonstrate. Let me pull open. What do, what do you want to see? Let's do Minecraft. That's pretty. So I took a screenshot. I dragged it in from Bandicam. So, you know, you take a screenshot here, just like that, image capture. Uh, and then you're going to pull that in from whatever folder you have it outputting to. And then do some nice text, make a few little effects the number of the episode, and you're good to go. File and save it under a pictures folder called thumbnails. So we got our thumbnail, we have our video, now we're going to go to YouTube. Okay, so we'll go to entertainment, YouTube, bam. We are on YouTube, here's my channel, and the first thing you're going to go to is, oh, by the way, CNAners, Machine and Realm, subscribe to them both. Uploads, and you won't have these if you're not a partner, but so just ignore those, but you will have this. So we're going to click upload video, okay, and where do we save it at? Our desktop. So I need to go to C users desktop. Okay, um, there is produce one. That's what we made our lake footage of. So we'll double click that, and it is uploading at the speed of light. So so that you guys don't see that, oops, I need to get rid of this. Um, we will set this to private. Save the changes. Changes have been saved. Okay, so you always want to do that because until it is completely at 1080p quality, you do not want your subscribers to see it. Uh, I keep it private until it's completely rendered out and ready to go. Some tips I can give you if this is footage of a lake, or if it's footage of Minecraft, let's use games. Uh, put Minecraft in the title. And then put uh, what episode it is. Let's do 100 and, or 308, 3804. Let's do that. And then you're going to want to put a title. Um, okay, so let's fix that. You always want to have good grammar in your titles. Play this too much. And then description. Let me show you what I do. Pulling this up on my other window here. I have a little .txt file saved. Okay. Um, it has my Twitter, my donation link, my t-shirt link and the link for my outro music. So I'm going to copy this, paste it in, scroll up to the top, press enter once, and then just leave you guys a short message. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do on every single video. Uh, tags, the same thing. I go to I search tags in my search box here, and here are the Minecraft tags. Uh, as you can see, they go for quite a ways, maxing out pretty much everything. Um, control A, Control C. This is for a Minecraft video, by the way. I know it's a lake, but and there, Control V. So we have all our tags here. I would recommend making a tags list for every game that you upload. Category, of course, is gaming. You could select a playlist if you want. I would add it to my Minecraft playlist. Save those changes, and then once you're done, once it is uh, live, let's go and watch our video here. Okay, so here's my private video, and there we go, the lake footage, it is 480p right now, as you know we uploaded it in 1080p, okay, so you don't want to you don't want to make it public until you can see 1080p, but that is the basic process of making a video, you can see the description here, there we are, 
Um, I'm going to delete this one. Why is that doing that? I don't know. Okay, so we can delete these two. Delete those for right now. And that's how you upload a uh, YouTube video, except don't delete it because that would not be on your channel anymore. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is. It has been about 15 minutes long, I realize that. I'll go ahead and delete this footage as well. But uh, hopefully you guys learned something. I just get this question so often in personal messages that I'm going to start just not sending a response and simply linking the video in there. Um, when I go through my personal messages, I'll probably just have that copied and then I'll just paste it into every single video that asks it. So hopefully you guys are watching this if you have had questions. I hope it helps you. Please leave me a comment below if you've watched all the way through and it actually has helped you out. Because uh, I do want to encourage all of you to give this a shot if you're interested in it. Other than that, this has been Legend Commentaries. I love you all and I will talk to you next time.